Hey guys, I'm Domus Rex421 here, and today we will be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Scarlet Spire. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's go on with the articulation. The head can move up and down, it can go full 360. Um, it does come with another head, the Spire Carnage one. Um, this head. Let's go focus. No. Mm, okay, good enough. And then he also comes with the hands, but I'm not gonna bother switching him out. Um, okay, and then he has a birth, butterfly joint right here. So, you know. Then his arms can go a full 360. They can move out about this much. Go in about this much. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Um, hinge, hinges at the wrist, and the wrist can also go uh, 360. He comes with web shooting hands, spark orange hands, punching hands, and these web crawling hands. Um, they should be in that box somewhere over there. Okay. Um, so he has an app crunch. His waist can move a full 360. His legs can kick out about, uh, let's see, about this much. Can kick back about, actually, a lot, actually. Um, he has a double jointed knee. His uh, ankles can go up and down. And he does have ankle pivot. Okay, now for a size comparison, let's look at him next to the Juggernaut. Now, as you can see, the Juggernaut towers over him. So let's get another Spider Man. The amazing Spider Man. And as you can see, he actually stands a little bit taller. Yeah, a little bit taller than the. Uh, amazing Spider-Man, and if you put the Spark Orange head on, he would stand, I think, just like a little bit taller, just like a millimeter or something like that. And yeah, I think this will be it. Let's see if we can get some cool poses on this guy. Be right back. Okay, here's a pose I was able to get him in. He's trying to take off the Juggernaut's helmet. Um. Yeah, I think this will be it for this video, guys. Um, like this video if you enjoyed. And yeah, I think I will review Hulkbuster, then Juggernaut. I don't know how it's gonna go. I mean, I did review that Hulk over there. But, uh, I don't know if I wanna review that Hulk again. Maybe, you know? I don't know. Um, so I think it's gonna be Hulkbuster next. Then Juggernaut, then I want to say Anti Venom or you know, whichever order I do these in. I I don't think I've reviewed that Spider Man either, so I have, and I need to do a whole collection video. So yeah, and look forward to some of my vlogs tomorrow. I will be going to see King Kong with my friend Josiah, so it's gonna be really fun. I hope they do. I hope they actually do King Kong justice. You know. I mean, the 2005 remake was really good, so, I don't know. Mm. They have been setting up that King Kong vs. Godzilla, so, you know, they started off with Godzilla, now they're going to King Kong about three years later, and then another three years later, we'll, or, wait, is it 2020? Yeah, and another three years later, we'll be getting Godzilla vs. King Kong. Now, as much as I like King Kong, I'm gonna say Godzilla should win, because... In 19-something-something, something, Godzilla lost. Gong shoved the tree that down Godzilla's throat, so I don't know. But Godzilla has been getting a lot stronger. If you saw the 2016 remake. Well, not remake. I mean, it's, it's Japan just pumping out another Godzilla movie like they always do. Okay, so... Okay, now I'm just going off topic. Sorry, guys. Um, this will be it for this video. I don't know why the juggernaut's over there. Let's get him out of the shot or just standing in the corner. Let's get good old Scarlet Spider in here. Against the wall, I guess. Yeah, and this will be it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.